Right, since uh, Make My Old Walk, loads of people have commented uh, on that post and I decided to make another one. Well, I bought a cheap uh, wireless N adapter from uh, eBay, £2.42 I think I paid. It's not the best, but it'll do. I bought a uh, £2 wok from, funny enough, uh, quite ironic, the pound shop in the UK. Uh, anyway, they sell stuff up to like £7, so it's not really a pound shop, but never mind. So basically, this is how you make a wok fly, uh, or a directional aerial. You need to find the exact centre of the wok, because that's where you're going to drill. So take your uh, your your measure. Uh, I'm using a ruler. You can use a piece of straight wood, anything, pretty much, as long as it goes across the wok. Take your pencil initially and draw some initial lines through the centre of where the wok. You want to find roughly the center of your wok, which is essentially a parabolic dish. So in this instance, this dish is about 10 inches across. So I'm going to take, I'm going to put a mark rather with a, a felt tip. On about the five inches, roughly in the centre, then I'm going to mark the other side the same, roughly in the centre at about five inches. So that is your rough point in the centre of the dish. Now Obviously, I'm going to sort of work out the exact measurements. But roughly, your centre is going to be that point there. And that's where you'll drill the uh, initial pilot hole, where eventually you will drill maybe three, five mil holes, uh, enough to fit the centre of this um, USB connector through the wok. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, an, a, a USB uh, 2 um, uh, extension cable uh, onto this. And then I can move the adapter in and out of the hole. And then basically I'm going to sort of use something like blue tack or um, hot glue or something like that to, um, to, to, to fix it in place. And, uh, and once it's fixed in place, uh, that will be... You know the 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 top of this will be uh, at the perfect sort of distance of the wok. You know to get the perfect focal point to produce uh, the the maximum gain from this uh, wok fly. So I'm just going to work out the final measurements, and I'll come back later and just add on to the video. Right now here we go again. I've already put the whole in the center of the wok. Uh, it's pretty clean. Uh, I think it's roughly in the center. Um, basically what I did was uh, I've got some cheap drills. I think I paid a couple of quid from uh, Lidl UK. Uh, I can't even get the, the smallest one out. So basically depending on this depending on how thick the metal is in the wok. I mean this thing is really cheap really nasty uh, really thin um, from the pound shop I mean the one that I built originally was like four mil thick steel and it was pretty hard to get through it but um, you know it made a good wok fly now this one instead of using a center punch and a hammer because the metal was so thin I just made three uh, little pilot holes uh, in the center well, one in the centre and two either side, and then I used um, a larger drill to drill out those pilot holes. I mean, the initial one, I 
can't even see what it is. It's probably like a two mil. I think, oh, there you go. It says, it says in, the, in the box, two mil. So I used a two mil drill, initially, to uh, drill the three pilot holes. And then a, a four, I think it's a three and a half or a four mil, to drill out um, the three pilot holes. And then I used a, a, an eight and a half mil uh, drill to drill out the three center uh, the the three pilot holes and um, and then I used two files um, to clean up the holes uh, and make it into one big sort of uh, elongated rectangle uh, hole um, just use like this old file I've, I've had for literally donkey's years and uh, this broken sort of like a uh, needle file uh, just to just to clean up the hole so there's no sort of metal burrs so I'm not going to catch myself or cut my finger or anything like that and of course you could catch the USB adapter and damage it in some way anyway so there there we have it that is the initial makings of the Wi-Fi the uh, rectangular hole through the center ready for the USB adapter to go in the middle um, I mean you know that, that's pretty much it uh, if you can create that uh, and get it in roughly the center then you know you're well on your way to uh, creating the wok fi like I said there's the uh, USB adapter I literally paid uh, £2.42 from eBay it was like the cheapest one because I thought well you know this works so well that um, it'll work with the cheapest adapter anyway so I'm going to carry on I'm going to try and find some uh, blue tack or something else that I can use I mean I could probably even use mastic uh, to um, put the USB adapter in the center maybe even waterproof it whatever else if I want to stick it out the window you know but I'm just doing this purely from uh, like an educational info um, informational type thing you know I'm probably um, never going to use this again I might even give it away to somebody but there you go anyway so I'll get back to you once I've uh, found some something to stick it in the center right um, I thought I'd show you a quick calculation how to work out the uh, focal, ideal focal point of the dish. So basically, this is your dish here, your parabolic dish, and you've got its diameter and the depth of the dish. So in my case, the diameter of the dish is 263 millimeters across and the depth of the dish is 63 millimeters. Now to get the depth of the dish you put a straight edge across the dish uh, you put a straight edge across the dish and and then basically you get another straight edge, a pencil or, or whatever you got to hand and measure that point there um, from the bottom of the straight edge to the dish itself. Uh, in this case it's 63 millimeter, uh, millimeters. So once you've got that um, measurement, the, the depth, um, you can then do the calculation. Now the calculation to work out the ideal focal point of the dish, uh, sorry, of your feed is F equals uh, the uh, diameter squared over uh, 16 of the depth depth so um, then in my case F equals 263 millimeters squared over 16 times uh, the 63 which is the depth works out 69,169 um, over 1008 and then the focal point then becomes 68.62 so 68 69 millimeters now I've uh, I've adjusted the uh, focal point over last time because this now gives the optimum uh, strength, signal strength for this WOCFI. Um, as you can see, what I've done is I've um, so so basically the the, the end of the um, uh, the end of the USB adapter is about 68 millimeters from uh, the, the the dish itself. So the the, f the focal point should be pretty close to optimum. I mean, it's it's not going to be it's not going to be perfect, but it, it's pretty close. So um, so anyway, that is the formula how to work out 
your ideal focal point. Um, so there you go, I'll add this to the video and uh, we'll edit it all into one thing later on. Right, uh, here we are again and we're using, because um, we don't, you know, net stumbler doesn't, well, does exist but it doesn't really work that well, uh, it doesn't detect my adapter. So we're using Insider Office, um, basically I've just signed up for a seven day trial using my uh, like spare email that I sort of register for spammy stuff. Um, anyway, so this is the uh, WACFI with the optimum focal point uh, connected uh, via this USB 2 extension lead to my wife's laptop. Uh, I don't actually own a laptop, but just own a large water cool computer. Anyway, um, here's all the different signals, uh, different routers, access points, um, you know, and, and basically you've got like the signal strength, uh, which uh, the signals are sort of going up and down as I move the WACFI around. So you can see that there are different signal strengths. Um, being detected, whatever else. Um, there's, let's see now, there's, uh, I will connect to, not, uh, sorry, I won't connect to, so, um, the, I think BT Wi Fi with phone is in the local supermarket, now, uh, which is Morrison's, which is about 500 meters away, thereabouts, um, sort of across there, um, and sort of like through all those houses so I'm probably not going to get a good connection signal to them but it is open and the signal showing about minus 81 dB so basically what I'm going to do is point the walk roughly over um, at last uh, see and the signal has now gone up as I point the walk fly um, roughly at the direction of that, uh, or where the supermarket is. Um, see the signal's gone up. So, uh, whether I could connect or not and keep a signal, uh, keep a connection, I have no idea. I mean, I could probably try, but um, uh, you know, it, it's pretty. It's pretty going to be a very weak signal. Uh, I'm going to do some more tests anyway with this in the next few days uh, before I put the vinyl, final video up. But as you can see, it does work, and uh, you know you could probably establish a connection to um, uh, a signal, you know, an access point if it was strong enough, and you uh, and, and it was an open one too. Okay, there we go. All right, here we are again, but this time we're well, I can't even see the bloody screen. There we go. Waiting for Wi-Fi data. This is Insider Office yet again. Um, not picking any Wi-Fi um, connections up at all. Uh, I'm out sat in the car, or outside the car rather. Oh, there you go. Right. It's picked up one BT Wi-Fi. Now this is using the Wi-Fi um, adapter that's built into the laptop. Um, can only pick up one BT uh, Wi-Fi compared to like about 20 or 30 access points that uh, I pick up um, when I'm back in my house and in my, in my living room. So I've got my Wi-Fi here. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm I'm going to I'm going to dis disable the the Wi-Fi that's built into the laptop. Uh, just pop into device manager here. Uh, pop into network adapters and just disable the built-in uh, Wi-Fi. So that's that's disabled. Close that down. So no Wi-Fi adapters are that detected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the Wi-Fi 
uh, like I did before, plug it into the other side then. Plug in the, the watt sight, and uh, hopefully it should pick it up, because it's uh, installed it before. Right, so now it says waiting for Wi-Fi data. So, what I should be able to do is point this Wi-Fi around, and hopefully, ah, here we go. It is already picked up uh, about one, two, three, four, five access points, uh, even a couple of open ones. Now, I'm approximately, I don't know, I guess I'm about uh, half a mile, three quarters of a mile from where my address is. So if I put the Ah, see look, if I, I've just, I've just put the Wi-Fi up here on top of the boot and already I'm picking up a ton of access points um, and, oh, Blackpool Transport Wi-Fi, that's part of the tram, that's probably on the tram network and I'm picking up a ton of other um, Wi-Fi connections. So clearly the Wi-Fi is superior to the wireless that's built in to the um, to uh, built into the the, the laptop because I couldn't connect anything. So clearly it's picking up signals. I mean whether it would pick up my router from here, which is sort of line of sight, but um, I mean my router I think is called Hub Five. 2.4 gigahertz and um, it, it doesn't seem to be picking anything up I mean Blackpool Tower as you can see off in the distance is probably about four or five miles away line of sight and uh, I don't think I don't think I'd be able to pick that up it's uh, I mean I might have been able to pick it up with the old Wi-Fi but I'm clearly not going to pick it up with this. I mean, that is, it's right, right, right in the, off in the distance. Uh, so there's, there's no way I'd be able to pick it up from here uh, with this dish because it's just too, it's too small. It hasn't got enough gain. But moving the Wi-Fi, uh, the Wi-Fi around, I can clearly pick up other signals. I mean, if I if I aim it towards the the nearest village, uh, I should be able to pick up. Now there you go. Aim it towards the nearest uh, sort of group of houses, and I can pick up a lot more uh, signals, um, access points. Some of them uh, open. Uh, some uh, most of them, I should think, are secured. I mean, you can see there the uh, signal uh, it's not brilliant there you go you see there the signals so it, it, it does work the Wi-Fi, and it is picking up the signals uh, of these uh, access points um, I mean, I'd love to be able to pick up Blackpool tire, Tower from here but uh, I don't think it will do um, I mean the problem is you're going to get the signal bounced back from these buildings uh, but anyway it works it's picking up uh, a ton of different access points um, but like I said this thing works on on line of sight anyway so one more try see if I can pick up my router but like I said it's line of sight so probably not much luck with that anyway there you go the Wi-Fi, it works and it works well. Uh, you could use it for um, you could use it for bridging a couple of uh, houses uh, better than two routers. Uh, so there you go. End of the video. The Wi-Fi works. All the instructions there for making it. Made it for about five pounds thereabouts. Um, so go ahead, make one and do your own experiments, whatever else. Thank you and goodbye.